We'll be discussing Paul Gauguin's Contes Barberas from the year 1902. Gauguin was a French post-impressionist artist. Symbolist and ideas qualities are seen directly in Contes Barberas. Gauguin is known to use symbolism, which is the attachment of an ulterior meaning behind any object that can become a symbol through its color and form. This is used in his painting, The Yellow Christ, where he pictures the Breton people to promote the economy of where they are from as a popular tourist attraction, rather than giving the painting a religious affiliation. Gauguin was associated with idealist, known for its anti-naturalistic qualities. Some saw it as a new modern mythology. This term alluded to his decorative painting style. Symbolism is shown through the style of his painting. He uses bold but flat color to draw more attention to objects that he represents as symbols, such as the blue and white clouds to possibly symbolize a dream. Gauguin uses colors to construct abstract shapes that are divided by heavy dark lines, creating a simple scale of detail. The dark lines are seen around the two front figures, which push them forward in the composition by giving the background a sense of depth. Since he does not use heavy detail, he puts emphasis on the texture of his brush from the paint. This is prominently seen in the skin tone of the two center figures, along with the draped clothing of the western figure. This texture matches that of the organic landscape surrounding them. Gauguin's blocky of color is similar to the style of stained glass. This shows his formal influences from medieval art. This style can also allude to trying to decipher if his work is religious or spiritual. The colors in the background of this work also have a dreamlike effect to them, such as the blue and white mystic clouds and the pink flowers. This point leads into a strong use of vibrant color throughout the rest of the painting, such as the orange color of the figure's hair and shadows of black around the female figure. Even though blue is not generally associated with landscapes, it is possible that he uses it to symbolize spirituality, a theme seen in a past work we have discussed in our class. An example is from the German expressionist group Der Blau Reiter, and also then Henry Matisse's painting New Blue, Souvenir of Berska. In both of these examples, the color blue is meant to signify something other than just a visual element. Matisse uses an indigo blue to represent a Venus-like reclining nude. This color is related to the region that the painting derives from in Africa. This concept traces back to primitivism. On the other hand, Der Blau Reiter uses the color solely for its purpose to symbolize spirituality. Gauguin's painting brings in both concepts of the use of blue to represent his division of spirituality and religion, as well as his use of primitivism to construct the figures placed within the blue scene. Aside from his painting style, he is a synthetist. He expresses ideas in a way that is understandable by the viewer, but does not allude to what the true meaning of what they believe it to be. In other words, a blending of the subjective and the objective. For example, in one of Gauguin's works, The Yellow Christ, many believe it represents a religious symbol, but in reality, he uses alternative symbolism behind the Breton woman. Within the composition, there are three figures, two female and one male, as Gauguin portrays it, to be a botanical setting. The setting matches the characteristics of the two female figures and the scene around them. The flowers in the right figure's hair seem to be taken from the flowers surrounding her, while also their minimal use of clothing connects them in a natural way. The two front figures physically contrast the cramped, more western-looking figure behind them. He looks to be an invasion on the setting. He looks western due to his hat, short hair, and fully draped clothing, in contrast to the minimal clothing of the other figures. He seems to be cramped since he is balancing on his feet, making it so you cannot see his full body. Besides the layout of the composition, the formal qualities are what make the painting unique in style. The bright color, which is a characteristic of symbolism, gives this painting a sense of depth. There is a question of Gauguin's work being religious or spiritual. Stefan Eisenman stated that his work is about spirituality and not religion. This is because there are time periods meshed together in Gauguin's work. His works are about a deep investment of faith, not about the history behind it. You can see the spirituality conveyed in Contes Barberes. What you might think you see in this painting is the Adam and Eve narrative. The indications of this would be the fruit at the feet of the female figures, also the serpent-like eyes of the male figure. Even though you can see the similarities, the painting is clearly not the true image of the classic Adam and Eve. It just embodies the narrative. It also embodies primitivism which is a central theme of Western modernization 
that alludes to the notion that uncivilized peoples and cultures were more pure and free than the Western ones. The Adam and Eve narrative represents primitive themes through its non-Western imagery. The two primitive figures represent this theme in their contrast of visual appearance to the westernized male figure to the left. The style of primitivism was described as non-academic and formally reductive and lacking detail, which is directly affiliated with the formal qualities of contest barbarous.